Rare Canadian Vintage Digest paperbacks. Hi, I'm Gary Lovisi, and this time we're going to look at some Canadian digests that uh, these are a pile of them. You don't really see a lot of these because they're pretty scarce and um, it, the Canadian publishing industry was a little different um, in the uh, vintage era in the, in the 40s, 50s, and 60s. You did have Harlequin books, you had White Circle books, which published a lot of, uh, of books. And then you had a lot of uh, small little companies uh, in Toronto, a Publishers Export Company. You had uh, companies in Montreal and Quebec that published in French, and um, all kinds of little uh, little companies that published digests. And this, we're going to take a look at some of them now. So I'm just going to go through them and um, just give you a little idea. There's some of them are sleaze, some of them are true crime or crime. Uh, Ten Men and a Girl. This is a, a wartime edition from 1943. And similar, this is a Confession Stories, number 101 from 1948, but inside it says ex it is exotic book, number 51. These are, these are really scarce, really scarce. Uh, superior uh, publications um, published a lot of uh, books and magazines, and we'll look at some of them. This is uh, from 1946. This is Exposed True Detective Stories, the year's outstanding true crime stories selected by the staff of Superior Magazine. Really, really cool, cool cover on that. Crime, True Crime Digest. Going to look at a couple of breezy stories. This is... Uh, Zippy Red-Blooded Fiction, and uh, this is uh, Breezy Stories from May 1949. Uh, stories are Flesh and the Devil, pr Prostituted Man, Defying Wench, Men Must Have Their Fling, Pleasure Girl, Doctor or No Doctor. And these are, this is like May 1949, Rare Sleaze in Canada, which was very, at that time, um, they were very, uh, not allowing sleaze um, publications and these kind of uh, this is a Toronto this is a Toronto, Toronto outfit from uh, March 1947 again breezy stories now superior books uh, showed you that magazine they also had a, a line of digest uh, crime and these are true crime cases and uh, this is a superior book, Lips of Death. The covers on these are really, really good, really cool. Another superior book, True Crime. These are from the 40s, late 40s, early 50s. And this is Jam Session Slayer, a jazz, Canadian jazz. Pretty rare, pretty rare one. Um, the next one is International Detective Cases, and this is uh, Golden Books of America. This is uh, from February 1946. Uh, the next one is uh, also Golden Books of America from Toronto, and it's Police Detective from 19. 44. Golden Books of America. And they call it Bo Golden Books of America, but here you can see the ad, uh, a note to our readers, Golden Books of America, and they were in, in Toronto on Yon uh, Street. Next one is Crown Novel, and this is from Toronto in 1946, Kill or Cure by William Francis. Kill or Cure by William Francis. Almost an upside down dead girl. Mm. And the back cover, kind of uh, very, uh, not very complicated, very simple, very, uh, you know, printed in Canada in 1946. Crown novel. 
is probably, that might be the only one. I don't know if there's any others in that series. All of these series are, they publish two or three books. Um, some of these, I've, some of these are very hard to find. This is a handy library, uh, number one. And it's The Face That Launched a Thousand Ships by, by Thomas R. Kelly. This is a famous uh, Helen of Troy novel, uh, fantasy, um, and uh, a very, uh, very collectible book. On the back, tells you some of the other books in the series, but I don't, I don't know of any of these. I don't think I've seen any of these. I don't know if they exist. It says watch for these. Maybe they didn't come out. This was number one in the Canadian Handy Books series. Um, R.E. Howard, Howard Publications, was another small digest publisher in Canada. This is from 1944. This is a really cool crime digest with a great cover. I Hate You to Death by Keith Edgar, 1944. Um, Howard Publications, this is number two from 1944 uh, in their famous mystery series. And this is uh, The Payoff by Joe Barry. Uh, Joe Barry, uh, Barry Lake was a uh, uh, newspaper rep uh, reporter and a radio uh, personality in the Midwest, and uh, he wrote some hard-boiled crime books. Uh, he wrote the uh, O'Mara books. He wrote the uh, uh, some other books that uh, that are really, really good, really good, good hard-boiled in the Hammett uh, mode. And uh, if you want to read some good stuff, read some Joe Barry stuff. He's an American writer, but they published him in Canada. Another book in the in the uh, famous mystery series is uh, "Murder Takes a Honeymoon," 1940, by Edith Fleming. So this is in the same series. Let me see the back covers. The, the skull shroud. They were marked, numbered on the spine, one and two. Bell novels, there's only two or three of these. I have two. There might be another one that I'm missing. Maybe there's, maybe there's four. I'm not sure, but they're really pretty, pretty rare. Uh, this is a Canadian Bell novel from 1946, Heart in Chains by Dorothy Edgar. Never see these, never see them anywhere. And uh, from 1948, Bell novel. Uh, Living by the Trigger, Raymond W. Porter, a Western. I don't see a lot of Westerns in the Canadian Digest. Um, back to Superior Books, and again, true crime cases. This is uh, Daylight Murder Mystery, true crime stories. Uh, another one in this series, true crime. Uh, Lurking Shadows of Death, Authentic Police Cases, Every Story True. These have great covers, right out of the true crime magazines, you know, on the digest, out of really cool photos. Um, Superior Detective Novel from 1945, True Mysteries and Murders, selected by world-famous criminologist, actual stories from official files. Again, Superior. They always have the Superior has that maple leaf logo and more true crime. Again, uh, Superior, true crime. This time, true crime in prison. So it's true prison tales, true personal accounts of life and death behind prison bars. An unbelievable cover of the skull. I think Guys, great, great cover. Oriental Menace finds itself in The Stiffened Men, stirring detective book. 
and uh, this one has no, it's a superior detective novel, and no authors listed, very, very scarce. Next one is another superior, um, superior digest. It's about from 1945, and um, this is a very rare and expensive book because of two things. First of all, the title is Marijuana Murder, Authentic Police Cases, Every Story True, and it contains the story of the corpse in the clearing by Bird E. Thompson, which is Jim Thompson. This is his first appearance, American crime author Jim Thompson's first appearance, and is a true crime story, and it's marijuana murder. Real, real toughy. Uh, one other Western superior publication. This is uh, The Trigger Slammer by T.W. Ford. Only one or two Westerns. A lot of crime and true crime here and mysteries in these early books. The next, next one is from 1944. It's uh, number one in the Bullseye Detective novel series. I don't know how many there are in this series. There may not be too many. For sure, there, there wouldn't be too many. Silent Terror by T.C.H. Jacobs. Really, really nice. So there's a look at some pretty rare uncommon and uh, cool um, Canadian digest that you don't get a chance to see that often and I wanted to share that with you. I hope that you enjoyed this look at these uh, interesting books. I think they're really cool and uh, they are so hard to find. I mean seeing this many in one in one group is pretty amazing. And if you like this video give us a thumbs up, share with friends, subscribe so you'll get uh, information on uh, and, uh, and alerts on new uh, videos that come out. We're going to be doing a whole lot more new, really interesting stuff. And uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks for looking.